live from beautiful Stake of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina, where they love to say, keep pounding, ever since the Tommy DeFist incident back in 13. We all remember where we were that day. I still remember the beautiful screams. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. How did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. Second down and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! Second down and six. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Second down, and he often says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him third down and forever and there's a huge gain and this offense is rolling Margaret, that was a pass play rolling plays him in bowling and they'll line up for the punt here And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the... And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That pass play was good for three yards. Third down and eight. Back, my friends. 
was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick should have. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. After that catch and scored. Nice. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and nine. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. First down and five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up second and one.
third and two. shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> See if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Transformed into a giant. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. 
Nice! And he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! Oh, and the fans really loving his dancing out there, but they need to be careful. One drop of blood gets on them, they can kiss their skin goodbye. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. That run is good for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta... Uh... <clears throat> Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. And that'll be second and eight to go. You just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Third and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Second down in a mile. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Third down and, well, good luck. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL because whatever they juice that player with to make him run that fast. And that's a nice run for a first down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! And 
that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a return of the ball. Return of ball? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks. Slide around. Shed carpet for eight hours so I can shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. Dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, kiss kiss say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and five. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Oh. And the defense falls from that trick all the time. <laughs> the ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. 
third down and never going to happen. The defenders want to be just kicked in. He's so fast, he can run a kick. And that was a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, Rex, why don't you put a cork in that gravy maker of yours, huh? Hey, I'm dying up here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and he's not going down. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, nice hit. A pussy here. Wow, he... And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. First and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. I hope you come. Oh, that'll trim your nozzle hairs once and for all. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile.
Now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and it's first and ten catch the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really a simple game when it comes down to it the third quarter mercifully ends if this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points! At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> the offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. But I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense called, and he zips that one in there for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw.
boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving a massage while we're broadcasting, Grim. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. A pickup of about three on that play. Third down and three. First and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Not, not one, Second down in a lot. Boom! Third down and long. Not one. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought being snagged. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. Is a bit slow. What means he did? What are you trying to impress your third fan base to bring him? Is he dead? Ah, uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap, I have money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. First down and six. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second 
second down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, oh, my bad. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult it. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them to time out to stop our own clock. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And he runs it for four yards. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got bills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I got a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.